that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I want to show everybody the Mopar 10 center caps. Uh, again, these are actually gonna be installed on a Mopar 10, uh, keeping the owner's kit intact. As you can see in the bag, it's just your basic uh, two and a half inch center cap. Uh, part number P5155788. Uh, made in the USA. We'll go ahead and get this open. I already know this uh, since I've seen the ones in the kit. Uh, I checked on these. They are the same. Uh, you think being an exclusive part to the Mopar team, you know, maybe something special, cast in a limited quantity, what have you. Uh, I mean, it looks great. You know, hopefully they'll hold up. Uh, the issue I had, didn't want to install them for the simple fact you know, I've lost center caps before, you know, before they made these public, it was a crash only basis. So it's kind of one of those deals, maybe you'll get them, maybe you won't. Uh, again, I mean, look great, it'll really look good on a Mopar 10, or if you've got a Challenger styled similarly, it'll look pretty good. Uh, something a lot of people don't know, the origins of the center cap. As you can see, if that looks like a ram head, that's because it was a ram head. Uh, these are actually... You just your base, you know, 2008, 2010 center cap. And then what happens is they grind off the ram head, cut it off. Which you can see here, the raised part is what's missing. And then this comes on, it's probably just a, uh, you know, adhesive top end. But again, you know, that aside, it's a pretty good looking piece. This way, if we do happen to lose one, get scuffed, the owner's kit's intact. I think price wise, they're probably around. 40 45 a piece I've had these quite a while but I'm gonna go ahead get them on the car and you know like I say if anyone cares you know there's a part number the price and of course you know the uh, fine uh, craftsmanship here I guess is what we would call it but again overall it looks good you don't know that's even there from the backside a lot of people you know probably prior to seeing this on the video didn't know either but again overall it's a good looking cap and I uh, will go get it installed Alright, we've got our wheel off the Challenger. We're going to go ahead and uh, get out the factory center cap. Uh, what I'm doing, they recommend a wooden dowel, fortunately or unfortunately. I don't know many people that have wooden dowels sitting around. I've got a uh, hammer you know, with a pretty heavily padded handle. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap a blue cloth around that. We will come in, place it square in the center of the cap, and we'll pick up another hammer. tap and you'll feel it pop out. Alright, what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, swap the caps out, the ram heads loose. Uh, positioned it there, again this is just personal preference on a five spoke I like the top spoke to be at the top, the valve stem to be oriented towards the bottom of the wheel, uh, works out that way. What we're going to do now is pull the ram head out and we will actually come in and we will place the Mopar 10 center we have it. The Mopar 10 cap is snapped in place. Uh, definite improvement in my opinion. Hopefully you agree. Uh, really looks great, you know, the way the Mopar 10 is set up, particularly with the blue stripe. And so we will try to get it mounted back on the car and uh, we'll see how it looks there. Okay, again, just for reference, uh, this is the passenger side front or right here in front of the Mopar 10. Uh, these are the factory center caps, of course, I hadn't put the one from the owner's kit in. The center spoke lines up with the ram head. If you go straight down from the snout, uh, there's no valve stem. It's actually offset one spoke. Uh, what's unique about this is all of the other wheels on the car were actually set up where the uh, snout of the ram head, which you can trace here, lines up with the valve stem. So that's how we're going to go about it, three out of four. We're just going to replicate that and line it up with the Mopar center cap.